Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Wristbeards and Gear, we are going to check out the Espada from GNL Guitars. Back in the late 60s, Leo Fender had a renaissance after leaving Fender and he started GNL and CLF research. And one of the designs that never saw the light of day back then was the Espada, but it's seen the light of day today. And we're gonna check it out. Now, before we go any further, this video is brought to you by Sweetwater. It's guitar month, guys, hence why I have a guitar for all things guitar related. Consider checking out sweetwater.com. Use my affiliate link down below in the description to support this channel, but all thoughts and opinions are mine. Now, if you look at the CLF Research Series Espada and think, boy, that looks 70s as heck, you would be correct. This is basically a perfect creation from Leo's original design, hence why there's a very 70s controlled plate that is kind of a distant cousin from the uh, Music Man Stingray, designed by Leo Fender, and you know, a Fender Jaguar, things like that. This control plate is pretty Leo Fender-y, I must say. However, the switches, the colored toggle switches, are very, very 70s, and I love this vibe. Now the Espada has an alder body and a maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard. This is a 25 and a half inch scale guitar and it's awesome. It's very, very vibey. This guitar feels like an old Fender that I just found in a closet. Uh, that's the best way I can describe it for you. And I know this is a GNL video. This is not a Fender video. However, they're all children of Leo Fender, but the neck feels like like a 60s Strat. And the whole vibe of this guitar is very rich in history. And it sounds really, really good too. So let's talk about the controls. The controls are not usual, and I like that about this guitar. So you have the standard three-way selector switch for either one of the GNL humbuckers. You have a master volume. You then have a coil split on a switch, and then you have a treble control, and then you have a bass control. And in between those two controls, you have a master mute switch. How utilitarian and dad engineered is that? I love this because instead of a normal tone control, this lets you get all sorts of tonal options that you couldn't normally get on a guitar like this. For example, I can switch to the neck pickup and I can roll off some low end, giving it more top end than your usual neck pickup. And then you can split that. So the amount of tonal variation you can get between all of the combinations of these controls is really, really cool.
Now, the Espada also features GNL's patented saddle lock bridge. This bridge locks the saddles uh, vertically so they don't move, and they basically are squished together with an Allen key. And this makes the transfer of vibration from the strings very, very strong. There's a lot of sustain on this guitar. It's also acoustically very, very loud. Still going. Still going. Lots and lots of sustain with this guitar. The weight of this particular guitar is just under nine pounds. It's not light, it's also not super heavy. For me, this, this balance is perfectly in a playing position when I'm sitting down. It's good. And lastly, this is a US made GNL guitar. This retails for $1,999. This thing sounds awesome. Very, very middle of the road rock tones at its base, and then it kind of branches off into more fundamental tones if you want that. But at its heart, this is a 70s rock and roll machine and it feels like it as well as sounds like it. I've really enjoyed this guitar, I don't know. I was not expecting to vibe with this guitar as much as I did. The tune that you guys heard on this video, I wrote after playing this guitar for 15 minutes. I'm not exaggerating, it just, the riffs just kind of came out of me because I love the kind of throatiness and mid-range tone that this guitar has. Very, very cool and an unexpected experience for sure. I will link down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.